What is going on Cardano Nation? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Fareed and in today's video, I want to give you guys some brief news updates about two new projects that have been onboarded into the Genius X program. Now, both of these projects are going to be Cardano specific projects. And the first one is going to be labeled DropSpot, which is going to be a NFT platform for curated content. The second onboarding project will be referred to as Cotit or C-O-T-I-T, which will be a platform to collect, sort, and access company product data to improve its supply chain. Now, what I want to do as a part of this brief update is quickly highlight exactly what both of these platforms are. And then I want to take a brief minute to actually jump over onto their websites to give you guys a firsthand feel and look as to what they're bringing to the Cardano ecosystem. Now, as always, before I jump into that content, if it's your first time stopping by, my goal here is to provide you guys in the community with the latest news, tutorials, and reviews. I'm also a single stake pool operator operating the official DAP Central stake pool, which has just minted its very first block. That said, if you guys would like to support the channel, then consider delegating with the stake pool, which is stake pool ticker DAPP. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into today's story again, which is highlighting the two new projects that have not been onboarded into the Genius X ecosystem. Now, if you're not familiar with what Genius X is, they're going to be an accelerator program on Cardano. They recently did also announce that they will be going multi-chain in the sense that they'll also be actually reaching out and collaborating with other projects outside of the ecosystem. Now, they are also going to be having their own um, launch pad platform in which we can actually see token sales occur on. And so the launch pad for the token sales will only be focusing on Cardano native assets, while the accelerator program as a whole will begin to reach out and broaden its horizons by supporting other projects outside of Cardano. If you guys want to find out more about that, I do have a fully dedicated video highlighting that announcement, which was made about one or two weeks ago. Jumping straight into the article, Genius X, the accelerator and launchpad for fully vetted early stage blockchain startups, is happy to announce the onboarding of DropSpot and caught it, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, to its accelerator program. The first project that we're going to talk about is going to be DropSpot. So DropSpot is offering a curated NFT experience on Cardano and DropSpot empowers creators to reclaim artistic sovereignty by providing a premium NFT collection minting service and helping them connect with global markets, buyers and collaborators. Now, what sticks out to me here is going to be the fact that they're going to be referred to as a curated NFT marketplace providing premium NFTs. I've taken a look at the official DropSpot website and I can tell you guys, this is not your traditional run of the mill uh, marketplace like we see with some of the other platforms on Cardano. That said, we already have JPEG.store, which is arguably the biggest marketplace right now for NFTs on Cardano followed by the recent launch of Plutus.art. And then we also have Flipper.io, which should be releasing sometime in Q2 or Q3 of this year. Jumping back into the drop spot, with their creator launch pad, creators can easily mint their NFT collections on the platform and manage commission payment splits and future royalties using an intuitive process. Now, this reminds me slightly of what the NMKR platform is already building on Cardano. And so using the NMKR minting service, you can go ahead and actually create your own NFT collections. And then immediately right after, you can actually create the smart contracts as well as the governance aspects of the royalties and how they'll be managed for that collection. So DropSpot appears to be offering a very similar service, allowing users to do the same exact thing. Now, the DropSpot platform also embeds these royalty splits and payment structures into the DropSpot smart contracts or DSC for short on Mint. Again, kind of mimicking what we're seeing with the NMKR platform. Scrolling down a little bit further, it closes out by saying the DropSpot also supports independent artists, local art communities, schools and grassroots organizations through their philanthropy structure. So I'm excited to hear that we're going to be hopefully onboarding um, general people outside of the cryptocurrency space looking to maybe um, add different types of NFTs into the ecosystem and not necessarily the traditional, again, NFTs that we've already seen within Cardano, which may already kind of be a saturated area. 
And again, I'm going to show you guys their website here in just a second. So you guys can actually get a feel for what kind of NFTs and art is actually being listed on this marketplace. The second project that has been onboarded into the Genius Yield program is referred to as Codit. As I mentioned before, their goal is going to be to collect, sort, and access company product data in order to improve their supply chains. So it reads here, Kata is bringing another layer of trust, transparency, and traceability to the product lifecycle data of supply chains, business operations, and product usage. Codit understands the urgency of making companies more eco-friendly and transparent, and as a result, their goal is to convey the message of environmental awareness. So not only will you, be, will you be able to use them for tracking how well your product lifecycle is doing, it looks like they've also got some campaigns or some efforts to actually make companies more eco-friendly. Now, as an example, the Codit team can use their smart contracts to automatically trigger payments to suppliers when a certain condition is met. And as an example here, I'm thinking of maybe when there is a particular product that may be a bottleneck down the product lifecycle that might be running low, you may wanna have a smart contract automatically trigger when there's a certain amount remaining. Now they can also use our smart contracts to verify the authenticity of a product before it's shipped. So again, two key use cases that we could be seeing from this particular protocol. Now, what I wanna do is now that we understand both of these protocols a little bit better, I wanna jump over into the DropSpot marketplace to kind of show you guys what this actually looks like. So again, this is gonna be accessible by going to dropspot.io. From the main page, we've got a featured section, which basically highlights two different types of NFT collections that we can see here. The first is the Mona Lisa, followed by the Van Gogh self-portrait. We've also got a collections page, which as you guys will notice here, are not gonna be the traditional NFTs that we see throughout the Cardano ecosystem. And so again, this appears to be a little bit more geared towards fine art, and that's actually what they mentioned as a part of the description, is that they're a curated platform looking to bring premium NFTs to the blockchain. So as you guys can see, this is definitely um, super quality art here. Um, a little bit, you know, of a different taste than what we're normally expected to seeing there, um, especially within the Cardano space. Now, we do also have an explore page, which does appear to list some of the more recognized NFTs on Cardano, which include the Ape Society, the Alley Cats NFT collection, the Boss Cat Alien Club, and the Hunks as well. So, it doesn't necessarily look like it's all just high quality curated art. They do have some of the normal NFT collections that we come to expect on Cardano. Um, but again, it, this is going to be a mix of highly curated art trying to incorporate a new set of artists onto Cardano. Now, the second website I want to review is going to be the Codit website, which can be accessed by going to cotit.eu. As I mentioned before, they're going to be focusing on traceability, tracking, and improving the product lifecycle. So this may not necessarily be a project that is used by an everyday person on Cardano, but if you run a small business or maybe even a larger business, you can use this to improve your process. Scrolling down a little bit, they've got a quick section here that highlights their um, eco-friendly solution and their data-driven approach. If I jump over into their solutions page here, they're gonna be highlighting three key features that they plan on bringing to the community. So number one is gonna be their supply chain traceability, number two, their business operation traceability, and then number three, their product usage traceability. Again, if you guys want more information about this, feel free to head over to their website, and that is going to do it for today's video. So again, just a brief update there from the Genius X team, which has now onboarded two additional projects, one being DropSpot, a NFT marketplace, and the second being Codit, a platform to simplify and track your product lifecycle. If you guys found this timely update to be helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you appreciate these Cardano developments, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for me about any of the two projects that I talked about today or just about Genius X or Cardano in general, then make sure to leave a comment down below. Having said that, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.